Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Atsi Putsi with me Putsi and for today's video it's going to be another haul I'm so sorry but this is going to be my biggest haul ever I just bought a lot of makeup and I really want to share this with you guys maybe you are interested in watching haul because haul video is like one of my favorite thing to watch so yeah if you want to know the damage I've done throughout this past couple of months then just keep on watching I also create this look with the eyeshadow products from Colourpop. It's going to be up after this video. So if you don't want to miss the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so you'll get notification. The first product that I bought is from e.l.f. This matte format eyeshadow palette in Summer Breeze. This is the matte format too. I've been wanting to try this product for a long time and wait, if I can open them... I've heard so many people raves about this palette. This is one of the best matte eyeshadow palette from the drugstore. And the color looks amazing. It looks like this. You basically can create a full look with this palette. You can use this to accompany your other palette. It has a mirror and you can travel with this. I love the way the packaging looks like and I love the shape of this. Yes. And the second one is their blush palette in dark. It looks like this, it has a big mirror, it has a four different shades, three of them are matte and one of them has some glitter in it and I love the color selection. You can pop them off this palette, I mean, I, if I can try to pop them off. I've never tried to pop them off, it's hard, I've tried that before and it didn't work but yeah, you can pop them off and they have two different selection, the dark one and the light one and you can buy both of them and mix them the way you want to or if you ran out of this you can I don't you can customize them the way you want them to but obviously you have to buy both of them but I just have this dark one and if you want to travel you can just bring this one palette right here and you have a lot of selection for your blush, you have a mirror. I mean, that's incredible. The next product I bought from e.l.f. is their ultimate blending brush. I bought this brush because Kathleen Lights and Tatila really like them for a plain foundation. It has a really nice shape and it's not too stiff, it's not too dense, but it's not fluffy as well. So, yeah, I think it has the right density to a plain foundation. So, I'm excited to try this. And the next one is from Essence. I always want to try essence product and the first one is this one obviously i have to try them because a lot of people rave about this product this is their pure nude highlighter you can apply this with a big brush all over your face but you can also apply them kind of build them up on your cheekbones and it will give you like a natural but very healthy glow maybe i haven't tried them but i've heard a lot of people rave about them if they talk about top essence product this always make the least so of course i have to try them and the other one from essence that i bought their last princess false last effect mascara and i also heard a lot of good things about this mascara in particular in the back of this they said this mascara for an irresistible false last effect and dramatic volume so this is supposed to give you like a volumizing effect so i'm very excited to try this because i personally someone who loves a volumizing mascara more than a lengthening one so yeah the next two products are from maybelline and these two right here the first one is the maybelline super safe full coverage 24 hour foundation and when, when i see them coming out with this foundation i really excited because it's supposed to give you a more full coverage and a more matte look than the maybelline fit me and i bought the shade 30 cent in Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Porous Foundation. I used the 220 Natural Beige, I think, if I'm not mistaken. That matches me perfectly. It has the right undertone for me. They have natural beige, but a lot of people say this sets to a few shades darker. And the people who usually use natural beige said that their perfect shades in this range is Warm Nude, I believe. But at the time, Warm Nude is sold out everywhere. I tried to find them in a few different websites, but not a chance. And luckily, someone 
that someone from Indonesia was about to go to UK at the time so I asked them to buy one for me and I don't know if this is going to match me or not I'm going to make a full review of this foundation like always with foundation and the next one from Maybelline is their Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in Molten Gold I really want to try their newer shades which is their Molten Rose Gold I believe it's actually my sister bought this but she bought this and then when it arrived she's already went to australia and lived there for a year so yeah this is mine now <laughs> it's supposed to be a very blinding highlight i don't know if i'm down for that kind of highlight but yeah i'm just starting to wear highlight this is as blind as it goes for me and if this is even more blinding than this i don't know if i'm going to like them or not but a lot of people like them so we'll see the other products from the UK that I bought here I have a couple besides the Maybelline foundation this concealer a lot of people from the UK or people who've tried this rave about this this is the collection lasting perfection concealer a lot of people swear by this concealer but a lot of people also hate the fact that this only has a few shades which is sucks and I'm I don't know what shades I mean but I bought the warm medium number three I think they only have like four or five different shades which is like I mean what's the deal with that a lot of people love this I hope they will expand their shade range but yeah nonetheless I'm still very excited to try this and yeah the next one is another concealer and this is from makeup revolution a lot of people love this rave about this and compare this to this tarte shape tape concealer and this is their conceal and define full coverage conceal and contour concealer and i bought the shade c6 and their shade range for this concealer is amazing they have a lot of different shades to choose from especially since this is also a very affordable makeup brand very affordable product so to have that kind of selection from the drugstore brand is incredible because you can tell this is supposed to be a dupe for the anastasia subculture palette when i see they coming up with this i'm really excited it has 15 shades and the subculture one i believe ha only has 14 shades i think by the way, this is their Makeup Revolution Reloaded Iconic Iconic Division Eyeshadow Palette. I don't have the Subculture Palette, but I always want to try them. But I'm kind of scared because people are either like them or really, really hate them. So, I don't know. I don't have that kind of money to spend on something that I don't know I'm going to like or, you know, questionable. So, I really want to try this palette first, see if I like the color, see if I like them you know the color on my eyes maybe in the future i'm going to buy the subculture palette but if this is work then maybe no need to buy the subculture one because the shade looks very very similar and you get a black here so a plus and it's very very affordable i believe it's like four pounds crazy for an eyeshadow palette that has 15 shades that's such a steal so Next, and the next palette I'm going to show you is the one that makes me okay. I'm, maybe I'm going to make, try Makeup Revolution now because of this palette. And this is the Soft X Makeup Revolution collaboration. This is collaboration with Soft Dust Nails here on YouTube. I love, love, love her. I'm obsessed with her since the first time I saw her on YouTube. I'm I just I just can't stop watching her videos. She's very funny and down to earth when i watch her video i just feel like i'm watching my friend talking to me and she creates some amazing looks on her channel as well you can check her channel down below this palette let me tell you is beautiful and it's as beautiful as i imagined them to be it has 24 different shades but let's talk about the packaging first because it's very pretty she designed them herself it's it's like a watercolor effect and I love watercolor. It's also have rose gold fonts foiled here. It has a very huge mirror and the color itself is incredible. Okay, maybe there. You can see it has purple, pink, green, blue, oh, not blue, like duochrome 
type of blue, you know, the one that, like the one from Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette, it also has some peach, some orange, some red, brown, a lot of different browns, warm tone brown, cool tone brown, deep brown, light brown, neutral brown, and you can find transition shades for you no matter what your skin tones are. It also has a black, it has a white. You can just have this one palette and you're set. I'm so proud of her. She did, if she ever watched this video, I'm just going to say congratulations. You did such a great job with this palette and I'm so happy more and more people buy this palette and talk about this palette or mention this palette on their Instagram, on their YouTube channel. I bought this palette mainly because I want to support her but the product itself is beautiful and you can basically travel with this anywhere you want and you have all the color you need you have a mirror the packaging is very sleek and it doesn't take a lot of space so overall based on i don't know how i don't know how this perform on the eyes but this is such a steal as well i feel like you need this on your collection that's it the next product that I bought is from Inglot and I bought the Inglot Duraline. I always want to try them for the longest time. Finally, I bought them and yeah, I think I want to make a full video trying this out, mixing this with a lot of different makeup products to see if it really as amazing as a lot of people say. And this looks like this. It's very, very small. First of all, I thought it's going to be a lot bigger than this, but yeah so first of all i'm going to make a video about how to fix a broken makeup in the next few days i already filmed that video but i haven't edited them i bought a juvia's place eyeshadow pad which i'm going to talk in a second and that eyeshadow came in broken like shattered three of the shadows is broken and i was and it breaks my heart i was so sad but i see an opportunity to make a video out of it so why not make a video and fix them at the same time and it I can man I managed to fix them somehow I'm going to talk, talk about that in that video but since then turns out the next part that came into my house also broken which really sucks because this came in worse than the Juvia's eyeshadow pad because that one just three of the shadows broken but it's still in place like when I open the palette the shadows is broken but it's not going everywhere but this one when I open the package it's just it smells like coconut everywhere and the plastic is full of like oils I feel like maybe like the oil from this was just going everywhere and it's just completely broken I'm going to show you the picture it's bad so but I managed to revive them as you can see it's fine now but I'm but I don't know if they are going to perform as good as the original I don't know but yeah I'm still going to use them maybe I'm going to buy another shades in the future because I bought the shades bronze no bronzer by the way this is the physicians formula butter bronzer mirror mirror butter bronzer in bronzer what a mouthful I bought the shade bronzer which is a weird name for a bronzer when I swatch them it's a little bit too light for my skin tone so maybe like it's just a chance for me to buy another shades they come up with another two deeper shades which is amazing so yeah maybe in the future I'm going to buy that one the deeper shades instead but for now I'm going to work with what I have and the next three is from wet and wild the first one I bought is their brush. This is their blush brush. I only tried this brush from Wet n Wild. This is their crease brush and it's really really soft. I love the way it looks so I am just want to try their other brush and I like the way it shapes. Maybe like it's, I think it's going to good for a blush and also like does bronzer a little bit maybe or I don't know or maybe like applying setting powder under your eyes can be good for that as well and it also feels very soft it, it's a synthetic brush the next one from wet and wild is their wet and wild oh obviously wet, 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 contour in dulce de leche 
Blue Shade Electric. I hope I'm saying that right. But yeah, this is how it looks. I want to try them for the longest time. I want to try this palette mainly because of the contour side. It looks like it has a very nice cool tone contour shades. And the last one from Wet n Wild that I bought is their Photo Focus Natural Finish setting spray as soon as i bought this they come up with the matte version so because i have oily skin i think that will be a better setting spray for me but this will give me a natural finish it's not a dewy setting spray at all so yeah people said this is pretty good from the drugstore so i'm excited for this as well and the next two products is from juvia's place i bought their magic palette and the mini version of the masquerade eyeshadow palette and i can't believe i finally have them on my hands right now two of them because i always want to try juvia's eyeshadow palette and i bought them while it was on sale so and the pan is like really huge so even if it was not on sale this is such a steal already because the pen is huge and a lot of people raves about this cloudy especially Nikki tutorial she loves and swear by Juvia's place eyeshadow palette it took me a while to finally decided to buy them even though I always want them because I don't think I'm going to use them up because all of this palette have a very colorful colorful shades especially the masquerade one which is why i bought the smaller version because i don't think i'm going to hit pan on any of the shadows very soon maybe the brown one maybe but i really excited to make an eyeshadow look with this because i really want to step out of my comfort zone and try a really colorful look but the saddest thing is the one that I want the most which is the magic palette came in broken like I said before three of them is broken and I'm going to show you the picture right here and yeah I'm able to revive them and somewhat save them I don't know if they are going to work the same but when I touch them I feel like they are not as smooth as the other shades but I can still use them better than nothing so the next product I bought is like a lot of products from Colourpop I bought a lot of products from Colourpop so the first product I bought from Colourpop is their no filter concealer I bought two in medium 30 and light 20 and they just come up with another shade which is amazing they have i think like they have like around 30 shades i think now and the light 20 is now 18 medium 30 it's now 28 and yeah a lot of people like these concealers so i just want to try them out myself and i also bought their brushes i just used them by the way for this makeup look right here and i bought three of their brushes this is their angled brush i believe they don't have the name on the handle here which is kind of sucks but now they have the number or the name of the brush on the handle i think they are new brushes but yeah this is their angled brush this is their small fluff brush i already used them for applying my highlight today and it's just let me tell you it's incredible it's one of the best highlighter brushes i've ever tried and this packs on highlighter like intensely i've tried this highlight before which is the wet and wild mega glow highlight and it's not as blinding as this looks today with this brush it really packs on the highlight but at the same time it's so soft and you can use them to blend them a little bit so it's not going to be like a harsh line it's a must for me and a lot of people also said this is one of must have brushes from Colourpop and the last brush I bought from Colourpop is their shader brush I don't remember if this is their small one or medium shader or large shader brush but this is their shader brush and I really like the shape of this it's very stiff it comes to like a very thin point here I don't know if you can tell but it's a synthetic brush the Colourpop team said that this is a really good brush to apply super shock shadows because their super shock shadows is a little bit tricky to apply with a brush you have to use a very specific brush for that it's best to use your finger but if you want to use a brush you have to use like a synthetic brush and a very dense stiff brush like this so this is a really good one for super shock shadows while we're talking about that i also bought the super shock shadow for the first time and i bought 11 of them they have a lot of amazing shades they come up with 
new shades like almost every single week i tried them on for the first time and let's just say i'm not disappointed i like them i bought paradox which is like this intense deep red and it's in the satin formula the next one is in coconut this is the one i really really want it's their satin formula but for some reason it looks very metallic i don't know it's a lot of people's favorite as well and i think this is one of their original shades like the when they first came out i think this is part of that line and it's been around forever they never discontinued this so that means this is one of their best selling super shock shadows it's a must i also bought a very intense pink purpley pink in wild thoughts the next one is in cosmic charge it's also ultra glitter formula when it came it was broken but it's really easy to fix you just have to like put them back to its shape it's not going to look as pretty as the new ones but you can still use them but it's still perfectly fine so you don't have to worry if they came in broken the one i have on my inner part of my lid here and it's a lightning bug and let me tell you this is incredible it really is looks metallic like a liquid bronzy gold it's in the ultra glitter formula it's a must for me the next one is in set to stun also in ultra glitter formula this is a really gorgeous rose gold but a little bit more rose than gold also ultra metallic formula in winnie which is a collaboration with kathleen lights and this is like a true rose gold this one as you can see this one is a little bit more rose and a little bit like a deeper rose gold this is like a true rose gold i also bought this really gorgeous purple in dance party it's also in ultra glitter formula it has a lot of blue pink and purple glitter all throughout it i also bought a black matte eyeshadows this is the roulette in matte formula this called bay bay in ultra glitter formula as well but it's like a purpley brown blue with a lot of blue glitter all throughout it i also bought four no five of their supernova shadow in moonlit ufo ufo walk of fame mothership and firecracker firecracker is the one i have on the middle to outer part of my eye here i really like this and i really want to collect all of the shades they only have a couple of shades now so before they have 100 different shades i also bought their precision brow pencil in black and brown and their brow boss in dark brown i really want to try and compare them see which one i like more and i also bought their lippy sticks lippy sticks in lumiere and taurus both of them are in matte formula i also bought twin zero this is ultra satin i believe yeah, this is ultra satin lip but i also bought their ultra matte lip in mama i've tried this one before and it it's different from the other ultra matte lip formula that i've tried maybe i've got a bad batch but i don't know this feels hella dry and cracking off my lips really fast once it's dry it's just kind of falling off my lips like it's just crumble off it's weird it's different from their any other ultra matte lip formula i know they're drying but i quite like them i don't really mind a drying lipstick i don't feel like they dry dry drop my lips at all but this one just weird which is sucks because i really like the color in mama i also bought their eyeshadow palette in yes please which looks like this it is a very warm eyeshadow palette i use some of the shades for today's look and i really like them i really like the way it came out it's very very vibrant and i don't think i'm going to be able to use them all that often it's very different for me and since it's going to be you know spring and summer time soon this is a very great palette to have because you know fit this time of the year so and the last product i bought is of course i have to get my hands on this this is the dream team collaboration with kathleen lights of course i have to buy this i love kathleen lights and i just i want to support her and buy her collaboration and besides it looks very pretty i mean look at this packaging this is the dream team lip bundle and this is the dream street press powder shadow palette 
this is what they look like it has two ultra satin lips and one ultra glossy lip i don't really like to wear glosses and i also never tried their ultra, ultra glossy lip formula and for someone who doesn't like to wear glosses i quite like this formula actually it's not sticky at all and it look it makes your lip looks very juicy and uh, yeah it's not sticky it's very comfortable to wear i love this and this one is the one i really want from the lip bundle like it's a really good nude pinky nude for me i think but this one i don't know if i'm going to like this because it's orange i don't really like to wear orange lipstick and this is like very orange very bright i bought an orange lipstick before and i don't think it looks very flattering on me but we'll see and this eyeshadow palette is the one i really really want and it's washed beautifully i can wait to try them on my eyes when i look at them in real life it looks even prettier than the swatches and then the picture i've seen from this palette the color selection just work with each other i think i don't i don't know just based from the swatches all the shades looks amazing so i'm excited to try them and yeah i'm excited those are the things that i bought throughout this past couple of months i really made a huge huge damage to my bank account at, at least for me it is and yeah maybe this video will influence you to buy some more makeup maybe i don't know i just love watching whole video which is why i made this video I hope this somewhat entertained you and if you like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Why are this packaging so hard to open? Finally. Still hard. This is the dream. This is the dream dream. Dream dream. This is.